a one, a two. Tingling, 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 it's the bad humor man. Welcome back, viewers, to the Servisola BSR cartridge removal from the head shell fiasco, where apparently BSR thinks it's a good idea to use a sticker to cover the screw for this. Uh, yeah, build quality moment. Not sure what kind of decision that was, considering that cartridges weren't, you know, replaced once in a lifetime for the player. So I don't know why they just kind of stick this goofy thing on here and i'm probably gonna wreck this getting it off uh can i just yeah that's <laughs> this isn't gonna be a pretty sight by the time it's done it's really stuck in there that's not great i'm gonna try and use my really fine blades and i get under here oh 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 she's coming up she's coming up ladies and gentlemen oh wow Hooray! We're s hey, let's actually not peel this sticker entirely off. Let's keep it like a hinge like that. All right. Now we can close it when we're done. Yeah, this is a stupid design. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't think that needs to be said. I don't know why BSR decided to do that. I know everyone was trying to uh, budget cut, but this is a little ridiculous. And if I change bits here... Two very nice commenters were on my channel uh, in the last part. And, oh, yeah, let's just see for a second. Um, okay, yeah, he was right. One of one of the commenters mentioned, uh, I forget his name at the moment. I'll put his comment up on screen here. These units are from around 1971 to 72, something like that. They're early 70s models. So I don't know what the whole the whole 1967 thing that my dad told me. Could, yes, this is my grandmother's console I've got here. He said it was around in 1966. He must have just been wrong, or I don't know. So anyway, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, let's get this out of here. Let's just see if we can tighten it first. Okay, so that won't move. That's great. So yeah, this screw had just come loose. That's a really goofy design, you guys. I don't know why, as I said, I mean, I know we're all trying to be nice on the budget, but seriously, okay, let's see what we got here. Made in England, ooh, uh, what have we got? SC10H1, so it looks like that, that's the cartridge, there's the uh, connectors, I think, I think that's what they're called. And the stylus, which is nice, this rivet, you can just pop it in and out of here, which is kind of nice, actually. I'm going to try and repair uh, that rubber part that I ended up pulling out by, I'm going to call it a mistake, because it really was. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so before we even try and get, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to get, oh boy, hold on, we might, <laughs> we might have to get a new one of these. Now this rivet might be loose on this piece of metal here, I don't know. Okay, well, whether the rivet wants to work or not, we don't know. But I'm going to try and reinstall this rubber piece, even if it's not uh, working. Or if it's even split on its own little... Where is it split? I think it's split somewhere. There it is. Yeah, we're going to try and reinstall that anyway. I think it went on those two bars there. Okay, let's try and get this guy back in. We've got that on there, so that's a good start. And we're going to try and get this other piece on here. Or on through that other piece of something. There's a hair in my way. Yeah, I should have never pulled this thing out. <laughs> that was stupid. You know what? It's a BSR cartridge. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to see if it'll work like this, though. I'm kind of interested to know if it will. Is that even in there? Yeah, it is. Now I have to compare it with part one and see if this looks anything like it. So referring back to the first part's comment section here, too many interests has stepped up to the plate. He once again tells us about the sticker, like the other guy did. Thank you very much. As for the rubber piece, that's called a coupler. It transfers the vibrations of the stylus to two piezoelectric transducers. Holy smokes, what is that? And after a very basic Google search, we find out that a piezoelectric transducer 
also known as a piezoelectric sensor, is a device that uses the piezoelectric effect, I have no idea what that is, I'll have to Google it, to measure changes in acceleration, pressure, strain, temperature, or force by converting this energy into an electrical charge. A transducer can be anything that converts one form of energy into another. So that coupler there on the cartridge, and yes, this image here is from part one, is very important. It takes the vibrations off the stylus bar, and it gives them to the transducers in the cartridge. Great, so if this is altered in really any way, it messes up the or it changes the output in one way or another. So right now I'm basically cleaning up my own mess. So what I've done viewers is I've gone off camera, taken my tweezers and adjusted the transducers to get them to look as prototypical as I could. Will it sound like garbage? I don't know. We need to get a new stylus for the or to actually have any idea as to what this thing sounds like, we need to get a new stylus. I'm not using the one I had because I don't think that'd be an accurate playback. It'd probably sound the exact, actually no, it would sound the exact same. So we're gonna go online and uh, see what I can find. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one that's been sitting new in box for 50 years or if I'm gonna go and try and order one that's brand new. I'm pretty sure this style of stylus is in production but I don't know for sure, I'll have to look at that. So anyways, viewers, until then, this is me signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on.